this uh, video I want to explain to you how does a nested for loop work and yeah that's basically it I hope that at the end of this video you got an ID of how you can loop through a nested arrays so arrays with multiple arrays or objects or whatever but in this case multiple arrays and I got this uh, I saw this uh, video from uh, Jamie on Twitter and he, he yeah, was so confused how this work or that was my understanding and I hope with this video Jamie you got your explanation uh, because uh, that's why I record this and hopefully someone else will also learn from this so in the free code camp there is a uh, task and that you should do something with the nested for loops and well basically it's this um, challenge and there is a example over here with uh, a multi-dimensional array and how you can loop through the multiple levels of it and the out output of the task should be that um, that it multiplies the product variable by each number in the subarrays. So, well, basically, a big part of the solution is already in here. And if you run this, you see over here in this in the console that the output is every number that's given into the uh, array and it, this is a multi-dimensional array so this is maybe this looks confusing so I hope that I can clarify this for a lot of you and I want to go to a um, code sandbox that I set it up and here we have that multiple multi-dimensional array and you can just ignore this let's make this uh, multi dimensional array with JavaScript okay uh, but this code you can ignore so this is the array so in order to loop to the main array we're gonna create a for loop and maybe you already know how a for loop works maybe you don't so in the first we need to create a variable i which stands for index and it starts with zero because a array will start always with a zero and then we gonna check if the um, if we are uh, no array dot length and in this case we're gonna check if we already came at the end of the array and if not we're gonna add one uh, on top of the uh, index value so if we console.log this and then no we can do it like this number comma the array with the i in it 
and then you can see that it will loop to all the arrays that are inside of the main array. So in order to go one more level deep, we have to go to create have to create a another an other for loop. So let's do pretty simple and do it like this. But in this array we create a another variable. And this is where when I go back in time, it, this was confusing for me. The variable names i and j, well, that's confusing. So let's call it main index and replace that everywhere. So we know this is the main index in the for loop. But in this one, we're going to call the uh, j variable sub index because it's going to be another level deep. And replace that. So if we do the console.log over here, you can see that I'm still using the array main index that for you see that there's one two three arrays in the main array and here you can see first three times you get one and two the second time you get three and four also three times and the last also three times five and six so if we we go a, a, a level deeper so if we use over here sub index then we get from the array we get the main index and inside the main index we are gonna do the sub index so in the first round it's going in it has this array and before it goes to the next array it goes a level deep because we have another for loop here and here we say this is a sub index so in this array it goes also through each number so if we and now you can see that there's one there's two three four five and six and in between there's undefined so in order to um, make this one pass we have to create multiple for loops well I'm I know that this is very common to use I and J as indexes in multiple dimensional arrays but when you're learning this I would recommend rename these variables to main index, sub index, or maybe more clear. If it, this is a array of products, name it product index. Give it a meaningful name because that's going to help you understand the concept of the for loop. So in this case, we need to modify so that it multiplies the product value so now we know that it loops through every um, um no wait we forgot something and you can already see this over here it's gonna check if there is another in that child array it's gonna check if there is another item and that's before that we got undefined because there was nothing so now you see only the six numbers and we can say 
var products is zero it was zero or one let's see here they say it's one and in the end we want to console log products because we're gonna multiply it so product now product is one but in the second for loop we're gonna do product equally to product multiply by the number from our array and then you see it's gonna multiply so if we copy this and put it over here then we say product equally to product and multiply it by the number of our array and then run tests and then we see we got it so I hope that this yeah me running through the multi-dimensional array I hope that it helps and makes it more clear and if it isn't clear then practice a lot practice 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 you basically need to build up that JavaScript muscles otherwise yeah you're not gonna build that muscles it's just like if you want to be a bodybuilder you have to practice a lot because you have to gain muscles if you're not practicing a lot you never will be a bodybuilder it's just like with uh, JavaScript or any other language practice a lot a lot I mean really a lot spend a lot of time in it and then every time you practice you practice and when you look back for a few months later you will see it goes smoother you know then you understand it so hopefully this helps if you like my video please do a thumbs up and if you want to see more of my video subscribe and ring the bell and if you are more the type of following a podcast then check out my mr front and mentor podcast and it's up on spotify on google podcast on apple podcast so check it out hopefully see you next time bye